All right, so there's no denying that the AirPods Pro 2 do a lot of things well. Now, when you pair the AirPods Pro 2 with an iPhone, that's gonna give you the best experience, as is the case with pretty much all Apple products. And that's because you get access to a lot of options that you may or may not even be aware of. Now, before we get started, let's take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Instant Pods. These guys are the ultimate destination for high quality AirPod replacement parts, accessories, and repairs. So let's say you recently lost your AirPods and you really don't wanna pay retail to get a new set. Instant Pods offers professionally refurbished replacements at unbeatable prices. Now, what if you didn't lose the entire set? You only lost one AirPod. Or what if you have both AirPods, but you lost the charging case? Instant Pods offers individual replacement parts, so you can buy exactly what you need, whether it's just a left earbud, a right earbud, or even just a charging case. They even have a trade-in program. So if you have AirPods with connection issues or battery drain issues, you can trade those in, receive a credit, and get a fully restored pair in return. And not only is this good for all parties involved, it's also good for the environment by minimizing waste. So they actually sent me a pair of refurbished first-generation AirPods, and fun fact, the first earbuds that I ever owned was a pair of first generation AirPods that I did end up losing. So had I known about something like Instant Pods, I would have gone that route to replace them. And aside from the fact that these didn't come with the original box, you can hardly tell that they're used. Every pair is sanitized and cleaned with medical grade solutions. And as you can see, there's no dirt or buildup anywhere on the case or the earbuds themselves. All I had to do was go through the normal pairing process, just like a new set of AirPods. After that, I updated the name of the AirPods, and from there, I was pretty much good to go. And the best part is that all of their products come with a 90-day warranty. So I'll put their link down in the description. Feel free to check them out, and thank you to Instant Pods for sponsoring today's video. The first thing I wanna talk about is adaptive transparency. So if you follow the channel, You've heard me talk about this multiple times. It's one of my favorite features when it comes to the AirPods Pro 2, but you may not have realized that this feature actually has an on and off switch. So if you go into your settings, AirPods Pro, scroll down, you'll see adaptive transparency, and you wanna make sure that you do have it turned on. That's gonna make sure that any loud sounds are automatically reduced when you're using the transparency mode. Another option I want to talk about is the call hangup option for Siri. So if we go back to settings, click on Siri and search, scroll down and find the call hangup, you want to turn this feature on. So this gives you the option to use Siri to hang up a phone call. This way, if your hands are occupied, maybe you're carrying something and you can't reach for your phone or reach for your earbuds, you could have Siri hang up the call for you. Probably not a feature that you'll use all the time, but it could come in handy every once in a while. Now let's take a look at the tracking options. So if you go back to settings and down to find my, you can track the earbuds individually if they're out of the case, and you can also track the case individually. So maybe you have both earbuds, but you can't remember where you put the case. Now, if you're somebody that uses your AirPods primarily at home, what you can do is turn the tracking features off, which will actually help prolong your battery life. So that's just a small tip if you wanna squeeze out a little extra juice. On the other hand, if you're on the go very frequently, it does make sense to leave the tracking features on. So another option you may not be aware of is the option to listen to background sounds. So if you go back to your settings and go to accessibility, audio accessibility settings, and then background sounds, you'll see that you have six different sounds that you can listen to to either block out noise or simply relax. So if you enjoy occasional white noise, you might find this feature useful. Another option you'll find under audio accessibility is the left to right balance. So this allows you to adjust the balance of the sound between your AirPods. And this would be useful if you happen to hear better in one ear versus the other. 
Now my favorite and probably the most important feature in this video is the custom audio feature. So from the audio accessibility settings, if you click on headphone accommodations, you'll see that you have a few different options as far as tuning your AirPods. So you have the option of balanced tone, vocal range and brightness. But I recommend going to the custom audio setup. And what this allows you to do is import an audiogram to fully customize the sound of your AirPods to your ears specifically. Now, there's a few different apps that you can use to perform an audiogram test. The one that I used is called Mimi. It's very straightforward and it basically takes you through an extensive hearing test and uses the results to tune your audio. And not only does this impact the sound of your music, it also impacts the sound of phone calls and it even impacts the sound of the transparency mode. So being able to customize all of that to your ears specifically is a huge advantage. When it comes to the transparency mode, you can choose to customize that yourself. So inside headphone accommodations, if you go to the bottom and click on transparency mode, you'll see this screen right here, which allows you to make some adjustments. So you have an amplification slider, which controls the overall strength of the transparency mode. You have transparency balance, which allows you to adjust it from left to right. You can adjust the tone of the transparency mode, make it darker or brighter. You also have an ambient noise reduction slider, which kind of helps cut down on white noise. And then you have the option of conversation boost, which adjusts the transparency mode to pick up better on voices. Now, the last option I want to show you has to do with the control center. So if you go into your settings and scroll down to the control center, you want to make sure that you have this hearing icon selected. So when you open your control center and select that icon, it pulls up this window right here, which gives you quick access to some of the features that we just took a look at. So you can see you have the background sound option as well as all of the customization options for the transparency mode. And then you also have this feature right here called live listen. And this pretty much does two things. It monitors the decibel level around you to make sure that you're not listening to anything that's dangerously loud. And it also allows you to take your iPhone and place it in a completely different area. And whatever your iPhone hears, your AirPods will hear. So let's say you just put your son or your daughter down for a nap and you need to go do something in another area of your home. If you leave your iPhone in the room with the child and they happen to wake up or start crying, you'll be able to hear that in your AirPods. Definitely a really cool feature. So those are some of the options that I use to get the most out of my AirPods Pro 2. And you guys let me know, did I miss anything? Are there any features that you guys use to get a better experience? Go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. So that pretty much covers it for today's video. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.